Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Kaval. In the previous lecture, we talked about the production function, what is the Cobb Douglas production function, and later on we learned that whether the returns to scale are increasing, decreasing, or constant return. Now we are going to fill the table using given production function. So we have to complete this table and identify some important relations what this table indicates. This is our question that using the production function q is equal to 100k 0.5 and l power 0.4 complete the following table. You can see here that some of the value have been filled which have been shown through the yellow color by looking at these values and using the given production function we have to complete the rest of the table. This is the rate of capital and this is the rate of the labor using this production function that producer by employing the six unit of capital and one unit of labor the producer obtains 245 units of output. So, how this 245 units has been computed? First of all we should see that how this 245 units output has been shown. So, we take defined input combination here that we take 6 unit of capital and 1 unit of labor and using the original function that is q is equal to 100k 0.5 is 0.4 and uh, we have added the 6 units of capital and here we have added the 1 unit of labor. So, by solving it we will get that the total output is 245. So, it has been proved that by using the 6 units of capital and 1 unit of labor that total output with the producer has got is 245 units. Now, we are taking just suppose 5 units of capital and 1 unit of labor and using the same production function the how much the output the producer will get. So, likewise we will add the value of 5 in capital and uh, 1 in labor and you we will see that how much the output the producer will get. So, by solving it we will get the 224 output you can see here that we have filled this that 224. Here you can see that by taking the 4 units of capital and uh, 1 unit of labor the producer has obtained the 200 units of output. So, we are going to find it how. So, now we are taking 4 units of capital and 1 unit of labor. So, by using the same production function and inserting the labor and capital units in the production function. So, after solving it we get the output 200. We will take different input combinations. So, now we are taking 3 units of capital and 1 unit of labor that how much of the output the producer will receive. So, by using the production function q is equal to 100k 0.5 labor elasticity 0.4 and inserting the likewise 3 units of capital in 1 unit of labor after solving it the total output is 173 units the producer will get. If the producer employs the 3 units of capital and 1 unit of labor you can see here the 173. So, likewise we have to fill this table. This is very easy, but people are mostly confused while filling this table because they do not know that how to fill this table because you have noticed here that we have increased the units of capital and keeping the labor becomes constant. So, it will be easy to fill this type of table. So, q is equal to 100k 0.5 this is the original production function and inserting the 2 units of capital and 1 unit of labor after solving it the total output is 141 units. So, you will see in the table that 141 units the producer is obtained. We are taking 1 unit of capital and 1 unit of labor same production function and inserting the value of capital and labor in the original production function the, the producer will get this output that is 100 units. But you can see here that by employing the 1 unit of capital and 1 unit of labor the producer has obtained this 100 units of output and if the producer employs 
two units of capital and one unit of labor the producer receives 141 units of output and by employing the three units of capital and the one unit of labor the producer receive 173 units of output and likewise by employing the four units of capital and keeping the one unit of labor constant and the producer receives 200 units of output and likewise the producer if employs five units of capital the one unit of labor the producer receives the output that is 224 by using the six units of capital and one unit of labor that the producer has obtained the 245 units. So we have analyzed in detail and observed each and every output that the producer has received by employing the different combinations of the input. So likewise we have to fill this table. Now the using the production function and uh, plugging the value of capital 6 and labor units 2 and by solving this production function we get the output that is equals to 323 units. So you can see here that by employing the 6 units of capital and 2 units of labor. Now we are taking 5 units of capital and keeping the 2 units of labor same. So what would be the output the producer will get? The producer will get 295 units by solving this method. Now we are taking 4 units of capital and keeping the 2 units of labor same. The, by plugging the value here capital 4 units and the 2 units of labor and after solving this production function the total output which the producer is going to receive is 264 units. Now we take 3 units of capital and keep the 2 units of labor same. So using the same production function we will see that the producer will receive the 228 units of output. So we are taking 1 unit of capital and 2 units of labor. So by using the same production function and after solving it the producer is getting that 132 units of output. Now we are taking random values 1 unit of capital and 3 units of labor. Using the same production function the output which the producer will receive that is 155 units. Like that you can see here that now we are taking 1 unit of capital and 6 units of labor that how much the output the producer will get. So using the production function and the producer is going to receive 205 units output the producer will receive by employing the 1 unit of capital and 6 unit of labor. You can see here that uh, by employing the 1 unit of capital this is the 1 unit of capital and 6 unit of the labor this is the 6 unit of labor and the producer is getting that is output 205. I think you are familiar to fill the required blanks. Now do the practice yourself and match your calculated final results with my calculated table in order to save this time and do your practice. One by one you have to fill this table likewise we have continuously filled this table. Finally I have filled this table in order to save the time. Output function is q is equal 100k 0.5 l power 0.4 that by employing the 6 units of capital and 6 units of labor the producer is going to receive 502 units of output. So you can see here uh, that by using the 6 units of capital and 6 units of labor the producer is going to receive this final output that is 502 units of output. The one task we have completed that we have filled the table now we are going to analyze that given production function that is 100k 0.5 l 0.4 whether this is this shows increasing decreasing or constant return because in the previous lecture we already learned that how to determine that whether the production function shows the increasing decreasing or constant return so if you have not watched those videos you can watch so here we are using just suppose the initial input that is 3 units of labor and 3 units of capital and after solving it we will see that the final output is 269 units. So you can also see here in the table by using the 3 units of capital and 3 units of labor 
that how much the output producer is going to receive the producer is receiving this output that is 269 units we are going to increase the units of capital from 3 to 6 units and labor from 3 to 6 units so if we double the input how much the output the producer will receive the producer is getting 502 units you can also see here that by using 6 units of labor and 6 units of capital what the output producer is receiving here the total output is 502 units we have got the final output less than doubled by doubling the input so this production function shows the decreasing returns to scale we have completed this table and we have also analyzed that this show the decreasing returns to scale and now we are going to identify the important relationship which this table indicates with increase in labor in keeping the capital constant the marginal production of labor decreases because less capital is with increased labor to work so you can see here by employing one unit of labor and one unit of capital the total output is 100 units and by employing the two units of labor and the one unit of capital the total output is 132 units and by likewise we increasing the units of labor and getting the output that is 155 so marginal output means, means the change in total output due to per unit change in labor so marginal change is that 132 minus 100 is equal to 32 so 155 minus 132 3 and likewise that 174 minus 155 19 units is the marginal production so you can see here as we increase the labor and keep the capital constant the marginal production of labor decreases this is one important relationship we have identified from this table and other thing what this table indicates with rise in capital units and keeping the labor constant the marginal production of capital decreases the other important relationship this table also indicates if the firm used more capital with the same quantity of labor the firm would also have to fall the lower iso quant uh, iso means same quant means quantity iso quant means that the shows by various combination of inputs the producer can get the same level of output that shows the iso quant basically the absolute value of the slope of an iso quant is called mrts that is the marginal rate of technical substitution so what is the difference between marginal rate of technical substitution and the marginal rate of substitution you can watch my video the marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to production which is received through increase in one unit of labor must be equals to the production which has been reduced due to decrease in one unit of capital the marginal rate of technical substitution is equals to change in k over change in l is equal to marginal productivity of labor mpl here indicates the marginal productivity of labor over mpk is the marginal productivity of capital the firm should hire labor and capital until where the ratio of marginal product of labor to its wage rate is equals to the ratio of marginal product of capital to its rental price marginal rate of technical substitutions for labor it means the how much unit of capital are sacrificed in order to increase the one unit of labor so the marginal rate of technical substitution will be equals to the marginal productivity of labor over the marginal productivity of capital it means that loss in output due to reduction in one unit of capital must be equals to the gain in output that is due to increase in one unit of labor that's why the marginal productivity of labor is equal to marginal productivity of capital a producer will hire the labor until and unless the marginal productivity of labor is equals to the wage rate of the labor and the marginal productivity of capital is equal to the rental price of capital so this is very important relationship which this table indicates i hope it would be clear to you this will be helpful for your exam thanks for watching